Hi, I'm Cori Barger, and this is Bassoon Lessons Online. Hit subscribe so that you don't miss any lessons, and leave me a comment so that you can let me know what sort of topics that you would like to have covered here on my channel. Today I'm hopping on really quickly to talk to you about your posture. It's something that we get shouted at a lot when we are younger, so we tend to kind of feel a little bit uh, maybe defensive about anyone telling us how we should sit. But I want to make sure that first of all, you're comfortable when you're playing the bassoon, but second of all, and maybe equally as important, that the way that you sit is affecting your sound. If you are sitting twisted at all, which is very common for a lot of us because really the bassoon is you know, a twisty sort of instrument. It's not like you can sit um, without making any accommodations to the shape of the instrument but make sure you're always bringing the instrument to you. Whenever you're sitting with any sort of slump, uh, I see a lot of my students do this sometimes, or maybe even if you're leaning against the back of your chair, uh, in what you may think is a nice upright posture, but you're still being supported by your chair, your lungs are actually being affected by this. If you think about your lungs being three-dimensional, not just, you know, the front, is where you're breathing. You're also breathing at the sides and in your back. You want to have space for that to be able to expand all the way around. I tell people to think of an inner tube all the way around your middle, inflating when you're breathing, and <clears throat> that's going to allow you to take as much air in as possible. If you've seen any of my lessons before, you have seen me talk about how much your body is part of the sound that you're making. Your body is just as important as the instrument and the reed in getting the kind of resonance that you want. So think about what happens if you have any tension in your body that is absolutely going to show up in your sound. Sometimes people tend to get their shoulders a little bit up here. Whenever they're a little bit nervous, listen to how that sounds. Maybe it doesn't sound too bad, but listen to it in comparison to Nice relaxed shoulders. You can hear that the sound is more free and less brittle. Now think about what happens if you slump over just a little bit. You can see, I'm really exaggerating here, but you can see that the front of my rib cage is really compressed into my belly. And whether or not you have uh, a little bit of uh, extra belly situation going on or not, this is still gonna affect your sound because your lungs are not gonna be able to expand in the way that they need to. So make sure that you're sitting up in a way that's balanced and relaxed and not tense. You don't need to feel like you're sitting up in a very formal sort of military posture. Sit in a way that is flexible but solid as best you can, try to keep both your feet on the ground. I know that that's not always possible given the chair situations that a lot of us are subjected to in a school or a gig. Um, but also think about what may happen to your posture if you have one leg that's bent and another one that's straight. Or if you have a leg that's like straight out like this, your pelvis is not going to be square. And that's going to affect your spine which is then going to affect your rib cage, which guess what is going to affect your lungs and your breathing. So like, here's what you sound like with a little bit of a twist going on. Again, we're getting that kind of brittle sound that creates a lot of tension in the muscles of your abdomen stretching across here. You want to make sure that any effort that you're making is necessary. So scan your body, see if you find tension or, or any sort of um, pull in a place that you don't need it. It's really difficult to develop that sort of awareness, but with time it will come. And it's really essential, I think, to being able to have a good relationship with your instrument. Hit subscribe and leave me a comment. Let me know if any of these posture habits might be yours. We can try to solve them.